Hi everybody, thanks for pressing play on the video today. It's Caroline here from craftycarolinecreates.blogspot.co.uk. Today's project, today's video, shall I say, is a follow-up to this project that I shared recently, which showed you how to make this box, which houses inside a lovely um, stationery set. So we have some large A6, A2 in the US size cards, some little cute 3x3 note cards, and some matching gift tags. The video really is just to give you a closer look at what's inside and talk about sort of the evolution of building up a stationary set. The, the set is used is made using this um, wonderful Garden in Bloom stamp set by Stamping Up, which is a multi-step stamp set. It's quite hard to say, multi-step stamp set seeing that fast um, where you basically stamp an outline and then you can colour it in and you can go back and add an additional accent if you would like on this one I just did the two steps so I did the outline and the colouring in and when you are building up your stationery set to go in this box I think as long as you sort of stay true to the colours and the design of your box you are going to have a set that, that goes together quite well so this was the first card that I made to go in the box and you, as you can see it very much matches the lid um, exactly the same colours, exactly the same layout just not quite covering all the card and leaving a space for a sentiment which I stamped using the Cottage Greetings set the Cottage Gre Greetings set which is another new one from Stamping Up and then um, my next one that I did I wanted to just add some simple flowers I just concentrated on the flowers but I kept the same um, Pacific Point and Soft Sky combination that I'd used on my butterfly on my lid so again we've still got that theme coming together and they still look like a set nextly I went even simpler and just went for two flowers this is very much a sort of a, a single colour card and then finally um, I took the theme of the flowers in one colour and extended that to a range of flowers but again in one colour. So you can see how those, that set of larger cards evolved. Um, as it's a stationary set I've done a mixture of sentiments. For the small cards um, I started off again staying very true to my box. I left the 3x3 three three ones without a sentiment because I wanted to um, make sure that they could be used for as many purposes as possible and I think when you start sending a smaller card you need it to be a bit more versatile. From this one I then also um, just did a very simple one which is that one flower motif which ties in very nicely with this card that I made in the larger size. And then I have the last two still to make, so I thought we would do those right now. But before we do that, I will just show you the tags. So again, I have one that stays very, um, very true to the lid design. And then another one, again, which ties in nicely with this small card and also with this larger one that I made there. Okay. And I've still got another two cards to make, which I will do later sorry two tags to make and these are just tied up this is pink pirouette cotton ribbon and this is the brand new um, stitch satin ribbon in Pacific Point beautiful I love these stitch satin ribbons really gorgeous okay so for these two cards I think what we are going to do is this one I just am going to stamp this butterfly all over it so because we um, photopolymer set I'm going to bring in my stamping mat I'm just going to bring in um, a piece of scrap that I'm going to use to stamp on and I've already mounted oops, my um, butterfly outline and my butterfly fly fill in and as I said the butterfly uses Pacific Point as the outline and soft sky as the inner so all I'm going to do is ink up this little butterfly here and I'm just going to randomly stamp this all over my cardstock. I'm just going to open that up a bit there. 
just like that. Okay, and then once I've done that, I can come in with my soft sky. And go back and fill in those butterflies by stamping over the top of them. You can see how simple this is and the colour combinations are honestly endless. Um, I've also quite liked these um, stamped with a black outline. I think that's also a really nice look that you could try. So there we go, that is another one of our little 2x2 two two cards. Thinking we're looking a bit pink um, and green, so the last one I am going to do, sorry a little bit pink and blue, the last one I'm going to do is going to introduce again some of these other colours. So I think we will start with um, a flower. So I would always recommend, just move this out of the way, I'd always recommend that you start with the outline first and then you go back and um, colour it in. Just makes it a lot easier to do it that way. The flower colours are pink pirouette and real red. All of, this, um, all of these colours will be over on my blog so you can read about the colour combinations. So this one I'm just going to very much replicate what I did on the lid. I'm just going to stamp that one down in the corner there and draw one over there. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how we're going for space. And then just again, we're going to bring in the um, inside flower and I'm going to stamp that one now in pink pirouette. Okay. Now, I know to line this up where this little line is in the petal. That lines up, I'm not sure if you can see, there's a little gap in one of the flowers. And I know that that line is two, two petals after the, the, the hole on the stamp, if that makes sense. I don't think I explained that very well. But where that little loop is on the leaf, on the petal, the little missing bit on this stamp here, I'm not sure if you can see that, needs to go sort of two petals before and then you will find that that will line up really well for you. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to come in with my leaves. My leaves are stamped in Cucumber Crush, which is one of the new ink colours, and Pepper's Eyes, which is probably my favourite um, go-to green prior to the new ink colours coming out and changing my opinion on everything. So again, we'll always start you doing the outline. So I do this one first. I'm just going to put a leaf just there. Okay, and then my um, can fill that in just here. There we go. Okay. Next, we will come in and do one of our butterflies. I'll just move these out of the way. Rapidly running out of space, it would appear. So bring back in my butterfly. Again, do my outline first. There we go. And stamp over the top second. And I'm not sure whether that needs anything more. I quite like that as it is. Um, but we will we will, we will we'll go on in and we'll do the last two combinations, which is Tangelo Twist and So Saffron for the inside of the flowers. Oh, I haven't mounted those, so I'll just do that quickly now. Okay. So firstly, we're going to do the outline in Tangelo Twist. Just going to pop that there. Okay, and then come back in with and fill colour that in. In our um, so saffron. Oh, didn't stamp that very well, did I? Because it's photopolymer, you can see where you missed, and you can go back and do that. And I think that makes a really cute little set of three by three cards. And you can see how it's very easy just to evolve the designs um, once you've started. So. I need to go back and make the tags, but other than that, I think 
that is a very cute little set of stationery and I do hope you give it um, give it a go. The box design, as I said, is also on a video and I'll link that below. If you have any questions or comments or I can help with anything stamping up, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks a lot. Bye.